Okay, uh, welcome to my video, YouTubers. Uh, this video is going to be about um, compiling code for my uh, Arduino using Atmel Studio um, 6.2, I believe. So first, I will um, go over some basics. Uh, so just a general program I made called uh, Sandbox <coughs> to do a lot of my scratch uh, programming. Um, one of the first things you want to do is if you studied C or C++ is you want to um, make your sketch, you want to include certain header files uh, this is Arduino uh, .h file, EEPROM um, .h file, SPI .h file and this is the Gameduino 2 .h file, this is my own file that I made <coughs> as a kind of API to interface with it um, I think for this video we're not going to get into these particular files what they do the main thing I'm going to show you is uh, some quirkiness I discovered uh, I wouldn't say it's a flat out quirk but it's maybe something I'm not aware of in uh, Atmel Studio 6 when compiling um, using your standard header files which is linked to a CPP file source file etc so let me start by showing you what it should do. So, okay, so if I run this, <coughs> not a problem. You can see it, it built and compiled my uh, my sketch. It produced the necessary output files, one of them being the ELF file, which I believe is, you know, um, a bunch of code in hexadecimal ones and zeros that they load on to uh, the microprocessor controller uh, burning and fuse maps and uh, EEPROMs etc uh, similar to the hex file I think it's just a little different formatting uh, but I'm an expert on that you can consult um, Atmel Studio for that kind of stuff but anyhow uh, back to my dilemma here so when I first ran this <coughs> it never compiled and you'd think it would okay I had my header files I'm thinking oh great everything's fine but here lies the problem so if I remove these files here I'm gonna delete them flat out and delete this file and if you run it you'll now get this compile error no such file or directory okay so this is that H test so you click on it kind of tells you doesn't exist and then subsequent it will give an error for the sound test was not declared in this scope which would be this function I'd written which is part of that um, part of this uh, H file uh, right here your header file so you can see it's kind of weird because it's showing it exists here in this directory but yet it is not compiling <coughs> so what causes that is um, a you think that it's if you were explicit like if I actually gave it the directory so if I went here and check this file let's see this file if it exists so okay the files not there so error number one <coughs> but see I have to put the file there manually and I have the file in my temp directory I believe <coughs> so see I put the file in there manually and I go back to Atmel and I run it <coughs> I get the same error message right you can see it's looking for this this um, function so normally what would happen in a header file you would you know you'd make your header file so if we go into it you would uh, reference or forward declare 
your function, which is here. It's not building it, it's just referencing, prototyping it, basically. Type void, function name, parameters we passed in. And away we go. So, as you can see, it's still not compiling. So, if we are again to manually copy the file over, now this is a CPP file, which is your source file. If I was to manually copy that into it, would it work? Go back here, and you're going to hit your build button. And voila, it does work. Okay, so for um, the file to compile properly and build the ELF file, you need to have <coughs> both those uh, files in actual uh, project directory, which is here. Okay, so one way you can do it, you can right click, you can do add. From existing file, you'd go to here, you could select both of these and do add. For some reason this link does not work. I've tried it several times. I tried mucking around with um, uh, the parameters of the tool chain. Still couldn't get it to work. Uh, if I figure it out I'll do another video but just hit add like this. It says it already exists over right. Same thing as me basically copying it over manually what you saw me do. And you can see the files now exist right here. So if you run it, away you go. Another way to check is if you look at the actual build itself, <coughs> you can see here it tells you all the properties, all the different fuse parameters and whatnot, but there's one section that gives you a list of the CPP files, and I think it's right here. Oh, maybe one down. Here it is. So this tells you it made this CPP into an object file and it also made this one an object file. That's how come you know it's going to work. If you don't see this, it means something went very wrong. So these are your object files that um, were compiled and linked together to make your ELF file, which is then, I believe, burnt onto the microcontroller. Okay? So anyhow, uh, I hope that helps. If you're ever getting an error where you um, are getting this ELF for missing uh, format, even though you know that you included the file, which I'll show you one more time. Um, so if you're ever getting this error message, no such file directory, <coughs> and you've included your H file, that still doesn't work, or you get an ELF error, then it probably means that it's unable to create the object file. Uh, so you have to copy the files into your project directory, uh, where you're actually building your executable, or your L file itself, and then from there it should work. Okay, and the directory structure is looking like this, right? So when it's all built up, you'd get this this um, this profile, so you'd copy your source and your header file into the same directory as this and it should work. Alright, hope that helps. Um, you have any questions, you can hit me up on the tube. Other than that, happy engineering.